Now this is unit 8 lecture 1 and uh, unit 8 is about genetics and it contains two different lectures. This is the very first lecture of unit 8 uh, where we will talk about uh, the molecular part of the genetics as well as some part of the bacterial genetics. Uh, so the topics that we'll actually cover in lecture one is the bacterial genetics including the all the horizontal gene transfer methods we'll also talk about transposable elements we'll see what are known as transposons the type of transposons how transposons move from one location of the chromosome to the other then we'll talk about DNA mutation types of mutation causes of mutations and about mutagens we will also talk about DNA damage and repair mechanisms to fix the DNA damage. And uh, as we talk about the DNA repair mechanisms, the final thing we talk in this lecture is DNA recomb recombination, uh, which is a mode of DNA repair mechanism. And the numbers written after every single subtopic here uh, corresponds with the approximate number of questions you can expect from all these subtopics in CSI NET exam. The first thing that we want to talk about in bacterial genetics is conjugation. You know, bacteria has different way of transferring its genetic content between the members of the same generation. That's one unique feature bacteria have that we don't. Because in our case, the way we transfer our genetic material is from the father to the daughter. So from parent uh, to the next generation. So this process of gene transfer from one generation to the next generation from father to daughter so is known as the vertical gene transfer or simply follows the rule of Mendelian or non-Mendelian inheritance but in case of bacteria they can do this kind of gene transfer from from one generation to the other by the same process so they follow that rule while the cells divide into two they transfer their genetic content to the daughter cell but they also have one unique feature and that feature is uh, they, they can deliver their fragment of the gene to the neighboring cells. That's what they can do. That's another very, very interesting concept. So that idea is known as horizontal gene transfer. That means members of uh, the same generation, okay, uh, neighboring bacteria can receive a copy of a particular gene from the bacteria living in the same generation. So this sharing of genes among the same generation members is a very very interesting as well as powerful feature in, in, in uh, response to the bacterial survival because in this way if one bacterial cell gains a kind of antibiotic resistance machinery the gene that helps them to produce that antibiotic resistance feature is need to be transferred from that bacteria to the neighboring bacteria and they can do that really really fast with horizontal gene transfer and this horizontal gene transfer, there are three different ways. Transformation is the simplest mode, then transduction involving bacteriophage to help for the process to continue, and the third one, conjugation. But we begin with conjugation because conjugation is more important to talk about now. Conjugation is, you can see that F factor and conjugation is a process that we want to talk about now. So in conjugation, it's a physical contact between the cells, between bacteria, that ultimately helps them to transfer their component, okay? So physical contact is required in this case. And physical contact means two bacterial cells are in contact with one another. They are physically contact or touched with one another by forming a channel. Uh, and that channel is known as sex pillars or a conjugation tube. Now formation of this conjugation tube helps them to transfer the genetic material from one cell who acts as a donor to another cell acts as a receiver. So you can see something like this. There are different types of cells, uh, F plus cells and F minus cells. F plus cell is the one uh, which carries a plasmid known as F plasmid. A cell that carries F plasmid uh, is known as F plus and this F plasmid carrying cell or F plus cells is actually acting as a donor because this cell is going to donate the genetic component to the recipient which is F minus. So F minus cell lacks that F plasmid. We call them fertility plasmid. So F minus is the recipient, F plus is the donor. So here we are talking about 
a plasmic DNA. Remember, it's not the bacterial chromosomal DNA because bacteria has its chromosomal DNA separate, plasmid DNA is separate. So this plasmid DNA will be transferred to the F minus cell from the F plus cell. So in this case, the plasmid DNA near about 100 kb in length, uh, greatly enlarged relative to its size in this particular picture. So what we can see is that this F plasmid can be transferred to F minus cell via uh, the sex pillars that they are going to form. So you can see a conjugation tube is formed between the bacteria. So two bacteria connected together by this conjugation tube. And then they initiate the process of gene transfer from the donor to the recipient. And this transfer requires uh, a process of cell uh, like DNA replication known as rolling circle replication. The rolling circle mode of the replication helps the donor to produce the new copy of the DNA while transferring the existing copy which is provided with the blue color and the new copy uh, with the red color. So they're producing new copy while transferring the rest of the existing copy of that DNA to the recipient. And at the end of the process, both the cells receive that is plasmid. Now remember, chromosomal DNA is present, but it's not shown in this picture. It's all about the extra DNA, that extra chromosomal DNA, the chromosomal, apart from the chromosomal DNA. So plasmid is an extra chromosomal DNA which can replicate itself. That's the idea of self-replicatory plasmid transferring its component from the donor to the recipient. And the moment the donor cell transfers the DNA to the recipient, they convert the recipient into a donor type. Because the F plasmid is now transferred to the F minus cell, the F minus cell is converted to F plus cell. So now both the cells are converted to F plus. So between the conjugation between F plus and F minus, F plus remains F plus and F minus turn into F plus. Now the second, uh, if you can see here the conjugation process again shown in details, F plus F minus, this is the chromosomal DNA shown for both F plus and F minus cell. And then the transform begins for the plasmid via rolling circle mode of replication. And the DNA is kind of, you know, rolling circle mode is taken because this is the only way uh, that the DNA is un unwrapped. The DNA becomes linear and can be transported through uh, the channel and gets transferred, okay? And finally, at the end of the process, it minus turned into a plus. That's how the process ends. Now, the second uh, process, the second different type, you know, while this, this, you know, you can check the last picture here, that at the end of this uh, conjugation between F plus and F minus, both are F plus now. Now, if you ask me a question that what happens to this F plasmid, whether the F plasmid remains as a F plasmid there or something happens to it. So, what I will say is that this F plasmid can stay in that, in that host cell and can try to recombine uh, with the chromosomal DNA. So once it can recombine, there are specific sites there. With the help of this specific sites known as attachment sites, they can recombine itself with the bacterial chromosomal DNA. So once it can recombine with the chromosomal DNA, it forms a particular structure like this. And in this case, we have the chromosomal DNA as well as the plasmid DNA integrated with one another. We call it integrated F factor. Okay, so this integrated F factor containing cell is now known as the HFR cell. So HFR cell contains a large uh, genetic material, large DNA fragment and that DNA can composed of the chromosomal DNA of bacteria as well as uh, the F plasmid region of the bacteria both uh, are present there. Now what will happen if we take this HFR cell and recombine uh, and try to conjugate it with F minus cell. Now remember one thing, uh, while this HFR strain has formed, HFR strain is formed due to the recombination of uh, the F plasmid with the chromosomal DNA.